I watch reality shows for comedic wait, reasons, wait, wait, but. Well, like they said real quick, that everything is marketed like black women can't get along. And that's the thing yeah. I don't like about it. Like you can't put four or five black women together and, and they ain't gonna have to have some kind of, somebody has to play a role. Somebody has to be the person who's loud. Somebody has to be the person who plays the victim. And that's just not true. But the thing is, you have young ladies, you have young, I mean, I have, I have a niece that's just turned 13. And if she was to watch all that kind of stuff, she would just think that she got around three or four of her friends, but I guess her acting out. So, and that's just the thing I hear about the reality show. Yeah, I mean, you know. And, and the ones that don't, like, there was one on OWN, but it got canceled. They don't support. So, what? <laughs> right. And, it, and they don't support. Plus, I feel like if you're not going to go that direction, you got to be really creative to really come up with what the other direction is going to be and how that gets captured because you can't just say they're ratchet we're going to be righteous and think that the righteous is going right. to do you're actually, and, it, and that's exactly. what i see it, it's all about being honest you know like it, it's a being honest if you're creating fights that's not <laughs> honest you know like you know just like you mentioned deb Abney. I, I give her a lot of respect deb Abney, because she's a woman in a very tough business yeah. dealing with some very tough people you know so in that in that regard of her, you know, uh, you know, I look at that scenario as like, okay, well, that's who she is, and who, in a lot of ways, she probably has to be, I guess, in a lot of ways. I've seen her handle situations, and and you never know who's watching you, but I've seen her handle situations in Miami. A couple of situations I've seen happen in Miami that I've seen her handle as a woman. You know, I was like, oh, I see, I like how she handled that, but that's her, that's her. who she is, or whatever that's like that. that. But you know, like I said, you know, when you when you're creating these shows, you know, there's a there's a there's a saying, you know, like when you go to war, uh, what's the first thing you take out of your enemy? What do you, what's the first thing you take out when you go to war? Your enemy? You want to try to take out? You want to take out communications, right? Yeah. You want to take out their communications. Any more any military around the world, you want to take out their communications. So when you start thinking about uh, a whole bunch of reality shows and propaganda. And, and, and the way someone's trying to pitch you as being or pit, pitch your community as being, it seems like a war almost. Because we know that, you know, we know there could be create more creative shows that tell you something different, whatever the case may be. But it says, this is all you can be. You know, it's not enough of out there, you know. Right. And it's not even being African American. You know, you look at regular television, how many. Uh, Latino shows you see, you see on there, like to talk about the Latino American perspective. How many Asian American perspectives that you see? You know, how many people are from, of a Muslim faith? There's a lot of Muslims here in the United States. So what I'm saying is, a lot of times, there's sometimes there's another thing going on why you want to have black women fighting each other all the time. But that's Wait, another story. You know, you know they say though, you know, that you, you, you feed the proper can to the proper goose, get the proper results. So. Oh, say that again. You feed the propaganda to the proper goose, you get the proper results. Mm. We saw that on Instagram. That's <laughs> Immediately. That's good.